Welcome back 523 here on Daybreak and all this morning we are getting a peek inside of Canal Side's newest attraction. Explore and More Children's Museum is now up and running for kids and families to enjoy. Daybreak's Melissa Holmes is live out there this morning and Melissa, we're also learning a little bit about the Erie Canal in our history, right? Yeah, so much of Buffalo's history is based on water, not just the Erie Canal, but also Niagara Falls. We are in the moving water exhibit now. And boy, this is really breathtaking. Amelia, what do we have behind us? So the first thing you see when you walk in is our 30 foot waterfall. It's reminiscent of Niagara Falls. Um, and as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. And that um, flows into what looks like a, a working water wheel. And what kids do is they work together. We can see one friend right over here doing it. Um, but they'll pump water onto the water wheel. Um, and as it spins faster, it actually lights up a historic image of the, of the Pan Am Exposition. So we're teaching kids about hydroelectric power, the importance of that to our region, as well as a little bit of local history. And there's so much room in here for them to move and run around. It's nothing is enclosed in glass here no. at Explore and More. No, everything is meant for our kids to touch and play with. And we know water can get a little bit wet, right? <laughs> so we do have smocks for them to wear if they choose, um, as well as we have another friend over here who's doing some dryers. Um, so this is an interactive we call Cave of the Winds. And when you're from Western New York, you know the real Cave of the Winds, you get a little bit wet. Yeah. Um, our Cave of the Winds, the kids actually dry themselves off and it's um, warm air it's, it's warm so air <laughs> and they can even point it you can sort of yeah. see up here but they you can can point it to uh manipulate the tiles up above yeah it makes all of these shimmery things move yep. up here it's so much exploration in this room and then on the other side is a packet boat yeah. to really talk about the Erie Canal we've got some kids here who are in third and fourth grade where they're learning about the Erie Canal in school but this is making it so real with the packet boat over yeah, here Yeah, this particular exhibit especially for teachers and students fourth grade we are hitting a lot of their state curriculum um, that they need and our replica canal boat we have actually sits on the terminus of the original Erie Canal um, so when kids are in there and exploring they can see the original end of the Erie Canal um, when they go inside they can dress up in period appropriate clothing. Um, there's games that they can play. Um, and as we can see here, we have two people who are helping load and unload our packet boat with a crane. So very exciting. Hazel and Jacob are doing a great job with that. And they can go in and there's actually period clothing, I think we mentioned, that's in there. And, and Jacob's got on his little vest right now. And so they can dress up, they can play, mm -hmm. they can explore, and they don't even realize that they're learning, but it really is such an yes. educational opportunity to yes. take the kids here. And learn about the history of Buffalo, but it really is so breathtaking. And from outside at Canal Side in downtown Buffalo, you can see this lit up waterfall in the moving water exhibit. It's um, absolutely fantastic. So that's what's downstairs, the being good neighbors, the moving water. And now we're gonna work our way up and we're gonna show you an exclusive sneak peek of everything that people can explore when they're here at Explore and More. So we'll be back in just a few minutes, Heather. Yeah, Melissa, good luck trying to get those kids out of that room. That one looks pretty cool.